What is going on, brothers? It's Lamy Tell, you know the name. Got a view for you. As you're entitled, Rep Entertainment is Needed, Part 9. Here goes. So, the season finale of She Hack was an absolute fucking disaster. Mm hmm. It was a disaster. So much so that people, the audiences, are basically saying, make it stop. <laughs> <laughs> And this right here is to be expected because the showrunner, the writers of the show, were not fans of the comic book character. As a matter of fact, the writers of the show and the showrunner were all fem sales and spin sales. Mm hmm. That's what they were. And She Hulk was the. Avatar they used to steamroll men through the entire fucking season. And as a result, that character stinks now. It fucking stinks. Now, if you thought that the season finale was bad, apparently the season finale of uh, Rings of Power was just as terrible. Mm hmm. It was just as bad because, of course, in the last episode, they decided to go ahead and make Sauron an incel. <laughs> so, even in high fiction, the big bads are incels? Are you fucking kidding me? You see, this is why Woke Entertainment pretty much leads to bankruptcy. Woke Entertainment leads to bankruptcy and Red Pill Entertainment is needed. Mm-hmm. It can be done. I mean, RGE, Ethan Van Skyber, Eric July, and a couple others, they're doing it right now. If you want entertainment that isn't woke, that doesn't disenfranchise you, that doesn't make you out to be a piece of shit, that doesn't talk down to you, you got to create it yourself. You're going to have to roll up your sleeves and create yourself. Kind of like what uh, J-Bone said in the movie Johnny Mnemonic. He said, snatch back, your, snatch back your brain, zombie. Snatch it back and hold it. You gotta do that, brothers. And if your stories kick ass, well, keep it going. Keep it up. I mean, because, let's be real. The entertainment industry that's putting out this woke garbage, they're hemorrhaging money. They're hemorrhaging money, but in their twisted little minds, the ends justify the means. It's not about the money. It's about pushing your erasure. It's about making you look like the bad guy because of your white chromosome and because of the plumbing. They push this garbage, corporate bombing with this garbage, and just they're getting tuned out. If you're if you're tuning this shit out, then you're in the right state of mind. It's better for you to tune this out than to just consume this shit. Hell, in my spare time when I'm not on the road, I like to spend a lot of time over on at Phoenix Studios, figuring out figuring out how to improve my writing when it comes to sword and sorcery. That's what I do. I mean, I got concepts for cyberpunk. I got concepts for post-apocalyptic, for the post-apocalyptic genre. I got concepts for martial arts dramas. And I'm just going to continue to add 
to what I have. I mean, it's being creative is actually fun, you know. It's a, it can be a grueling process, but um, it's actually fun, you know. And that's why I enjoy it. That's why I am a advocate for homebrew games. I'm an advocate for indie comic books. I'm an advocate for brothers who have webtoons. They're trying to get enemies off the ground. I'm an advocate for all that stuff. If you want rep entertainment, if you want kick-ass entertainment, it has to come from you, brothers. It can't come from these woke automatons, these fem cells, these spin cells, and these privileged berserkers who only get into these industries to flick shit at you. Mm-hmm. I mean, hell, there are companies out there that are now putting certain universities on a no-fly list. Yes, they're blacklisting certain universities that churn out these woke automatons. Because, you see, certain companies, they want employees. They don't want activists. They're losing so much fucking money that a lot of them are saying, you know what, enough is enough. Is enough. We're done with this shit. And I don't blame them. Oh, and for you brothers out there who are putting out Rep Entertainment, you brothers out there who are doing your thing with indie comics, indie video games, indie cartoons, indie animes, keep doing what you're doing and keep, keep like a motherfucker. Get keep like a motherfucker. You know, there used to be a barrier of entry. So that these privileged berserkers, these woke automatons, don't worm their way into your circles and destroy the shit. I mean... Hell, you just look at the uh, certain circles when it comes to video gaming. Back in the 80s and the 90s, most of the video gamers were men and boys. And those men and boys were called nerds, lame, squares, urkels. And then when video gaming became a billion dollar industry, in came the chameleons. Because that's what they are, the chameleons, not gamma girls. None of these chameleons were around in the 90s. They were not working those Mortal Kombat tournaments. They were not working those Street Fighter tournaments. They were not at those LAN parties when Quake and Doom were kicking the shit in the game. Man. They, were big, they were not there when Doom, Quake, Unreal Tournament were kicking ass. They weren't there. It's about time we start gatekeeping our hobbies. It's past time. We gotta do that, brothers. Mm-hmm. This is Lana McTow. That's all I got for you in this video, brothers. If you like the video, like, share, and comment, share, feel free to subscribe. If you're enjoying this my channel, you find a tip jar on the upper right-hand side of the screen. Next to you, plus icon. All right, fam. All right, brethren. You know it's real. You know what's in. Go away, live with SYSBM. As for these woke automatons, these privileged berserkers, these fem cells and spin cells who ruin our entertainment but turn around and call us pieces of shit because we won't support their garbage. Give them nothing. This is Miktow PSA. Welcome to Titan. See you soon.